What's up everybody, Jan Dutters here with another tutorial video. In this video I'm going to show you how this beautiful number 9 is created. And it's a loop, it's created in an isometric grid. It looks like a 69, because the 9 uh, the other way around is a 6. But I'm going to show you how this one is created, so you can eventually create your own loop letters with it. As well okay so dive into illustrator you need an isometric grid I will add a download link to a free isometric grid in the subscription so first of all you want to add the isometric grid in another layer select the uh, grid press on the right button release clipping mask we're going to get deleted of this rectangle. Select the grid, go to view, guides, make guides. Okay, so now we have guides made it out of those um, lines. Hide or lock the layer again and click on the second layer. I have added a gradient over here which I'm going to use in the number 9 which we are going to create so first of all we are going to create the side the left uh, side of the number 9 select the pen tool and just drag a rectangle using the guides give it a black stroke color and make this four or five points so you can see what you are doing click on the pen tool again click on this anchor point we are going to drag a rectangle okay so this is one part we're going to give these rounded corners Okay, select the element, drag it with holding shift to the right side. And we are going to make sure it's next to this line, one block. Okay, so we are going to do this again. And one more time. Okay, so now we have the basic shape and now we are going to add lines to eventually create with the uh, shape builder tool the number nine. Okay, click on the pen tool and we are going to add a line over here. Okay, make sure all the lines are connecting otherwise the shape builder tool won't work out well okay add a line over here and uh, also one over here and over here Okay, this looks quite good. So now select all the shapes, press on Shift M. And now we can add all the lines, all the shapes together. Okay, something went wrong over here. This is not connecting pretty well. Okay, just like this then. Okay, select all the shapes again, press on Shift M and drag all the elements together. Okay, this looks quite good. Select the number nine, press on Command X to copy it, delete all these lines and press on Command V. 
Okay, so now we are going to press on command V again and rotate this with holding shift 180 degrees. We are going to edit nicely behind the number nine. Make sure these lines align so it flows nicely into each other. Okay, I already created the gradient, which I'm going to add to this number nine. And we are going to play with the angle a little bit. Yeah, this looks good. Uh, hide the visibility of the guides. Okay, so my gradient starts with a dark color. Then it goes to light, to white, then it goes into a gray one, to white again, and it ends in a black color again. Um, okay, so for the number six, the fill color is going to be a little bit grayish, not fully black. And we are going to get rid of the stroke color. Okay. And now we are going to add a back, black background to it. Click on the rectangle tool, draw the rectangle, double click on the fill color and make it a black fill color. Then press on command shift and um, uh, open bracket to move it to the background. And then you can see our loopy number nine. Okay, so this looks quite good. And you can create really sick stuff for this. Something like this as well. This I've created with the same technique. You can create some really nice 3D looking uh, text effects with it. So, hope you guys learned something. If you did, please drop a like, follow the channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace!